Welcome Aquarius. This is your reading. We're going to do a uh, you versus them. So Aquarius, I'm going to have your cards on this side, your person's cards on this side. For you, I'm going to use the um, the oh my goodness, I can't even think of it now. The spellcasters tarot for your person we're going to use the modern witch tarot okay so let's get some energy for you and your person aquarius i just got brain dead for a moment i don't know what's going on okay for you we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay so there may be someone that you're very attracted to okay for your person, Aquarius, we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. So you may be the ex in this scenario, or they may be releasing their ex to be with you. Okay. So let's take a look. Now, like I said, this could be your energy. So it could be that you're releasing someone to be with someone else. Okay. So let's get your energy, Aquarius. How does Aquarius feel about this person? Give me a message. How does Aquarius feel about this person? The judgment. Okay. You see this person as a new beginning. Right? As... Someone coming into your reality, taking you out of your comfort zone. Okay. This person may be very fiery. Being able to take you out of your comfort zone, you know. So it could be a fire sign. A Leo Aries. Or... Sagittarius, right? Okay, what are Aquarius's intentions towards this person? Two, okay, the star and the chariot. Okay, so as far as the, the star and the chariot, the star is actually going through healing, but I feel like you know, you feel very renewed. You want to move forward with this person, okay? You want miracles to happen, you know? Um, the star is also being the spotlight. So you may be put, you may be putting this person up on a pedestal, um, but I feel like you're moving forward with this chariot energy. There's some kind of, you know, the chariot is all about taking action, taking that journey, you know, charging forward and really following that journey, okay? So, and I feel like that's basically what you're doing is you, you may be healing or, you know, creating miracles with this person and charging forward. So this is someone that you really want to move towards. This is someone, someone's energy that you're really attracted to, that, that is kind of pulling you in their direction, okay? We also have the strength card at the bottom. So this is also Leo energy, Aquarius. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of unconditional love here. There's a lot of respect. Um, there's a lot of courage, a lot of fearlessness, you know, you may need to have courage to kind of put your thoughts into motion, right? To kind of say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. But I feel like, you know, this person, you think the world of this person, you definitely feel like this person is worth the effort. And it's like going through a completion, right? Like, like you've hit that cycle and you're ready to move into something new, 
okay? The, the Nine of Swords, this energy is like pushing forward. This may be someone who really likes to talk, or it's also someone who is really pushing forward. They, there may be, you know, this may create a lifestyle change, um, but I feel like, you know, look, look how he's pushing forwards towards that world. You know, you think of this person as your world. So I feel like you want to speak the truth. You know, I don't feel like there's an offer on the table yet. So you're not ready for that full commitment. You don't really see yourself fully committing to this person yet. But I feel like you are rushing forward with this person in time. Okay. Um, I still feel like there's some trust issues that need to be resolved. And you're like seeing where the situation is going. You're, you're just standing by and like observing. Like, you know, where is this situation going? Do I trust this person? Is this person going to make me happy? Then I will make this committed offer. Okay. But I feel like this person has to prove something to you before you can make that committed offer. Right? So tell me where this connection is going with Aquarius. Tell me where this connection is going. Give me a message. Tell me where this connection is going. Okay. The Six of Wands. So you feel like this connection can be very successful. You also feel like you may be able to commit to this person in the future. Right? But for right now, you're willing to play the field. You're willing to see where things go and just be playful and live your life. Okay? You want to see if this situation is going to be stable, if it's going to bring you security, if you feel supported in the situation. Okay? Um, and then you may make an offer. But I feel like you're very optimistic when it comes to this person. You really like communicating with this person. You really like to talk with this person. So I feel like they have a really nice conversation. You're just not quite sure if this is long-term stability or if this is something that is just, you know, where it's going to flourish. Okay, so I feel like you're kind of waiting. Yeah, you're protecting your energy. You know, you're you're weighing your options, uh, Aquarius. You're weighing your options. Okay, so let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's take a look at Aquarius. this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? Spirit, give me a message. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Okay. The Page of Swords. This person is very curious about you, Aquarius. They want to know more information. They want to know more about you. They may be looking at your social media. Okay. And I feel like they're patiently waiting. They're being very patient in this situation. Um, I feel like they may be waiting for you to make the first move or waiting to see a sign from you. But I feel like this person is having a lot of self-control when it comes to the situation because of their curiosity. I feel like they're, they're trying to find out the information that they need before they move forward. Okay, so give me more information about where this connection is going for Aquarius. The Hermit. This person may have been alone for a while or they may be soul searching. Um, they may be going within for clarity, trying to, you know, figure out their personal truth. Right. But they may also be trying to see this on a spiritual level when it comes to the situation with you. I feel like they may feel like your connection is on a more spiritual level. Right. Um, very interesting, Aquarius. Give me more messages for Aquarius. What is the outcome for this relationship? What is the outcome for this connection? 
Give me a message for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So definitely, let's see, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. And we have the Three of Swords. I feel like this person is afraid of having the heart broken. They're wondering if it's even worth the effort to even put into this situation. Uh, because I feel like, you know, they feel like you may just take what they have and just walk away. You know, I feel like they're very confused in this situation because I feel like they are just waiting. Okay, they're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for some kind of indication. And I feel like, you know, we both have these five of wands energy. You know, there may be a lot of competition or there may be a lot of things left unsaid. Um, I do feel like you and this person may be playing games. I feel like there could be games that are being played. Um, as far as the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like they feel like there's no direction, you know, or that this situation can be very unpredictable, okay? Um, uh, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this person, they, they feel like there's, some, like there's too much conflict, like it's it's too hard to work together okay and they feel like they're going to be left with a broken heart that they, they feel like you know maybe it's your way or the highway right are you coming across as being very domineering aquarius you know if this is male or female it doesn't matter okay tell me why the knight of swords the three of pentacles in reverse and the three of swords are here Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords here? Okay. The Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This person feels like this is this may be unfulfilled. You know? There's someone who wants to speak their truth. There's someone who wants to get something off of their chest. Maybe they need to tell you something that you may not be aware of. Okay? Um... Yeah, basically, I feel like this person can be, in a way, I feel like this person can be a little cold-hearted. At times, I feel like they can be very cruel or bitter about something, you know. Um, the Six of Cups in reverse, I feel like, you know, they have a fear of moving forward. Or of leaving home or or basically of being independent, right? They there there's something that they're lacking here, right? That there may be bad memories or bad karma with this get with this person. Okay? Let's get some messages. What does this person want to tell you? Give me a message. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? I feel like the energies this week are just really, really off. Okay? I feel like all the signs are really kind of going through it this week. Right? I want to be more than friends. Okay? So I feel like maybe this person feels like they were put in the friend zone. You know, maybe they feel like you're going way too slow. Like, you need to speed it up. Okay? Uh, we have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay? I feel like that's the reason why they feel like there's no teamwork here. You know? Like, nothing's moving. Nothing's going forward. They feel like you're going to break their heart. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, I really feel like they need to speak their truth. There's something that they want to say, okay? Just being near you is intoxicating, okay? So I feel like they're very infatuated with you, okay? 
they, they feel a lot when it comes to you, Aquarius. You and I were too young. Okay. And you, you left, I left you before you could leave me. You know, I feel like that's kind of what they want to do. Because I feel like they feel like you're going to break their heart. You know, um, you were the best thing in my life. Okay. I am becoming a better person. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some more messages for Aquarius. Tell me what this means. I feel like... I feel like this person is waiting for you to make a move. You know, but I feel like this person is not being honest about something, Aquarius. And give me a message. Chad, tell me what this means. Tell me what this means. What does this person need to tell Aquarius that is not being revealed? What is this person telling Aquarius that's not being revealed? Look, I need to tell you the truth. Yeah. They need to come out with the truth of something. I am set in my ways, being stubborn. Go with the flow. There's someone. Wow. You have to let go so that something better can come. Okay. It's time to make a decision. I want to get close to you, but I'm dealing with other things. We have karma. Okay, and I will talk to you soon. Wow. We have take a leap of faith. Okay, and we have arguing. Yeah. Time to start something new. We have believe in yourself. And we have so alone. Okay. So th this person, this person is tired of waiting. They're tired of waiting, Aquarius. Okay. I feel like this person believes in you, right? But they, they really want to take this leap. They feel very alone right now. It's time to make a decision in the situation. You may have been going back and forth about certain situations with this person. They may have been arguing. Um... But I feel like, you know, there's some kind of decision that needs to be made. There's someone who needs to get a lot of truth off of their chest. And I feel like they're saying a lot here, right? Um, give me a timeline for Aquarius. Give me a timeline for Aquarius. When will the situation be right? The momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. Okay, so I feel like this person is going to talk to you very soon. They really want to communicate how they feel to you. They really want to let things out. Okay, um, so I feel like you're really going to hear from this person very soon on what's going on or what you expect. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at your angel numbers. Let's take a look at Aquarius's angel numbers. Okay, we have one, two, one, two, duality. So this is the, like the two-sided picture of like the shadow and the light, right? Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay, your affirmation. I fully embrace who I am and allow change where it is needed. And I trust the duality within me. So the duality is like the good against evil, right? What balances you? So I feel like, you know, I, I feel like you're kind of struggling 
between your shadow side and your light side, right? Um, so yeah, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, this is your reading, okay? So if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements. They may be resonating with you more. I also do readings every week, so you can also come back next week and you'll see another reading up, okay? So, Aquarius, uh, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.